do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place. Whoa, 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 hey, hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid cunt? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Please, Big B. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. Look, whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. I'm staying out of it. It's not what you might be thinking. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Nope. I haven't seen her. Come with me. No. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. No, I'm D. He's dumb. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Holly, you're out of paper towels and the... They're gonna string me up, Bigby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. Ah! You said you wouldn't hurt me. You said you wouldn't run. This fucking lapdog. They come sniffing around this part of town with the rich fucks in the woodlands need a shakedown. Ain't that right, Big B? Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. You're making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'll be better when I find who did this. Which I can't do while sitting in here. We all want the same thing here, Bigby. Look, I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. That's very helpful. Thank you. I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah. I know. I, I just said that. Is there something? Do you hear that? <gasps> Please. Please. Go, now. What did you do to her? She'll be fine. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive, but it works. 
The whole station will forget the last 24 hours, and everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, hurry up! anything. Fine. We, uh, found the woodsman chained up to a post last night. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Well, thanks to you, there's been at least some hope in this whole dreadful affair. I'm confident he has some information about the slayings. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him. And he's already to the point of confession. Yeah, good. I've got questions for him. Well, we all do. I know what you're thinking, Bigby. It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. You know, I never get more homesick than when one of us dies, and now, were it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Yeah, it's hard. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Did she, um, give any indication to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... I guess fine, I suppose. She could come off as callous sometimes, but she wasn't really. She said that she wanted to change things, make it easier for Fables to get help when they need it. I don't know what else to say, Bigby. We have to, have to put an end to this. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon, there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Bigby. For Miss White. I got it. As I came down the valley, I met a maid who asked my trade, and a sailor John said I. And away, you Santi. My dear and need, oh, you New York girls, can't you dance the polka? Look sharp, Woodsman. You have visitors. Why is he singing? Some sort of pathetic defensive mechanism. Never mind that, though. He will tell us eventually who killed Snow White. I have too many methods to inspire him. Bluebeard, I told you not to touch him until we returned. I didn't. Well. Barely. And yet you saw fit to retrieve it's it. It's hardly been used. Yet. Hello, Sheriff. Come to help? Because I think I have a secure handle on things. Help? No. I'll be doing the questioning from now on. Oh, really? Let me tell the story. I can tell it all. About the mountain boy who ran illegal alcohol. <sighs> 
What he... That you, Bigby? I didn't kill that girl, Wolf. And I don't have a thing to tell you, so get me the fuck out of these straps. Save your energy. You'll need it later. We're gonna, all right? But we have to have a little chat first. Snow White is dead. I'll tell you what I already told this blue dandy. I didn't kill anybody. I, I can't tell you anything. You can't or you won't. Look, I got questions and I know you have answers. Whether or not they're the answers I want, well, I guess we'll find out. <sighs> Whenever you're ready, Sheriff. Two nights ago, after we went out the window, I didn't see where you ran off to. Got an alibi? For the time Faith was murdered? Look, I got nothing to say, so just... just let me go. Please, just let me go. Do you see now what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this? I'll take care of it. What are you planning to do, exactly? Don't forget what we talked about. I'm gonna make him talk, one way or another. I didn't do nothing, for fuck's sakes. What's that? You want to know what this is? Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Take a good fucking look. Take a good, long look. Etch it into your fucking memory. I told you, I have no goddamn clue about what's going on. I didn't have nothing to do with it. Now, you want to tell me where he went that night? I went to the Trip Trap. Ask anyone there. I didn't kill her, Sheriff. You told me he was at the point of confession. He was. He is. He said Snow wasn't even supposed to be there. Now, what do you exactly take that for? He knows what's happening. All right, that's something. Did you say that, Woody? Where are you talking about? Where was she supposed to be? What was supposed to happen? She was... nothing. Nothing was supposed to happen. It's my own shit, all right? Just... forget it. Where's... where's my stuff? I want to smoke. You, you took my smokes. We, uh, confiscated his belongings. For the time being. This was all we could find on him in any case. Nothing exceptional to speak of. Much like the man himself, I'd say. Can we move this along? If you need some assistance, I'd be more than happy to provide some. Ow! Fucking Christ, I'm tied up here! Fuck! Big B? It'll be hard to justify this level of... brutality is all I want to point out. I know you're upset about Snow, but... I'll handle this. Tell me what you meant by Snow wasn't supposed to be there. This is bullshit. It's not what you think. I don't... It's nothing, okay? Just leave it alone. Fucking horseshit. I didn't do anything. Tell us what you know. Right now. I didn't fucking say Snow, okay? I never... I never said that. Yes, you did. She, you snobbish ball of shit. She, I said. She should have never been there. I wasn't talking about Snow. Okay, that's something. You weren't talking about Snow, but who did you mean? Who wasn't supposed to be there? This has nothing to do with the fucking killings. I can't tell you shit. I dude, you fucking asshole! Get me out of this goddamn chair! Bigby, no, really. This has gone totally off the rails. What? We're finally getting somewhere. You've got to back off. Really, it's too much. Oh, give me a break. This is a serious matter. We can't tiptoe around this. He needs to give up what he knows. Right now. Exactly. You keep on this way, it will be to our peril, I promise you. 
Would he? Who wasn't supposed to be there? The whore! And the rest of it is my own personal business, dog! So untie these straps and let me out! Faith, all right, that's it. Faith! This fuck here knows. Faith? This has to do with faith? Someone else was supposed to show up and this bitch I don't even know comes over. Who were you expecting? No damned idea. What was the plan? Who's behind this? You're really enjoying this, aren't you, Wolf? Who did you want to show up and why? What was this about? What were you up to? Faith shouldn't have been there? Who should have? It's not important. This is just the biggest heap and pile of cow shit. Fucking strengths. I can't feel my... <clears throat> Look, you goddamn chicken fuckers! I can't go nowhere, so why do I gotta be tied down, huh? It fucking hurts. I can't wait to catch you walking down a blind alley some night. Oh man, I'm gonna have fucking dreams about that shit. Who were you expecting? Bigby, really, this has gone far enough. Who was it? Tell me. Lily. Lily? Who's Lily? Lily is... Uh, Holly's sister. Holly? The bartender? From the Trip Trap? Her sister's... Yeah, detective. Her sister's a prostitute. I was a regular of hers, okay? I paid, she did her thing, and that was it. When Faith came to the door, it just set me off. Lily usually comped me if I didn't have cash. Fucking bitch Faith didn't have any decency. So la -de fucking da congrats. Crack the case wide open, shithead. Sheriff, that is it, okay? I just... I have to put a stop to this. I warned you earlier, and you haven't listened. And now it's just truly gone too far. The man has rights. His rights are on temporary leave. Bluebeard, that's enough now. Snow deserves justice, Crane. You're not thinking of the bigger picture here. You never think out the ramifications for things. Beating information out of someone will simply never get the people aligned with us. I dare say this is the exact kind of infantile rashness that got Miss White killed. Don't you blame me for Snow's death! I only meant, you know. What's going on down here? What was going on down there, Bigby? Abusing a prisoner like that. I thought you were dead, Snow. And that makes it okay? I hope it was worth your time. Okay, you're gonna have to explain this, because I'm really not getting it yet. 
After our conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy, but hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. Or at least to figure out who she is, if it's not Faith's body. I should have been there, Snow. I tried calling the business office, but there was no answer. I couldn't find you, or anyone, so I took care of it. Snow? What is it? I'm glad you're... not dead. Me too. I just want to get to the bottom of this. I just feel like... What is it? I just... I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. I don't think it's about you. There's something else going on here. Maybe. We just have to find out who did this. And why she was glamoured to look like me. I mean, that's what it is, right? So, what's our next move? Maybe you should lie low for a while? Until we figure out what's going on. And what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs? Waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? It's too dangerous out there. Too dangerous? Bigby, I... I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore! I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once I'm and... not yours to lose! I'm sorry. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. I've been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too... you know... I can handle the kid. Okay. TJ's over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I... I want to be there. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. Oh, that's enough. Hey, Amira, finish! Cancel! What the hell are you doing? Don't even get started with me, Sheriff! What's going on? I saw what you did down there. Is that how you treat your prisoners? The woodsman may be a good-for-nothing drunk, but that don't mean you can just whack him around because you feel like it. You scared the shit out of me, little boy. He saw everything! Okay, Mr. Toad. No! I want an explanation. And what did you expect to see? I thought maybe I'd catch you on the shitter. But I saw something worse, didn't I? That's enough! Mr. Toad, I deeply regret the distress this has caused you and your son. But right now, we need to carry on with the investigation. I will be happy to speak with you about your concerns later, but you must understand how urgent this is. We need to talk to TJ. This ain't over, Big B. TJ. It's all right. Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? Watch yourself, Big B. You do anything to hurt me, boy. It's okay. 
Are you... okay? Go ahead, TJ. I go swimming at night sometimes. In the river. I wasn't doing anything bad. I promise. Of course you weren't. We know you're a good kid, TJ. Just tell me what you saw. I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady! <laughs> it's okay, son. <laughs> Careful, Big B. I wasn't. I know. The lady fell in, but but she didn't have her head on. I thought I thought she was gonna pull me down too. <laughs> cause cause she had rocks on her feet and she kept falling down in the dark parts. <laughs> Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Is there more, TJ? Is it true? You know when people are lying? I heard you could do that. That's why you're the sheriff. Yeah, part of my job is being able to tell when people are lying. I'm really good at it. Is there something else you want to say? Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I... I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared, and, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it. I gave you very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight or bad things can happen. I told you. Leave him alone, Toad. He's my son. I've set boundaries for a reason. This is a special circumstance. Leave him alone. So you didn't stay underwater? I don't know if anyone saw me, but, but someone said, stop laughing. And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? Did you see who it was? No. <laughs> Did you hear anyone laughing? <laughs> Sheriff. Okay, TJ. I'm sorry. After I came up again, there was no one there. And I ran home, that's all. I promise. I want to go home. Okay, you can go. <laughs> Thank you, TJ. Okay, son. You did a good job, kid. Come on, then. That went about as well as I expected. <sighs> you want to go look at the body now? Yeah. Come on. Oh, my goodness! I almost forgot. I didn't realize... Are you gonna be okay? You don't have to stay. I want to stay. I'll be fine. It's just... a little... strange. The glamour is so effective, it's... invasive. But... just do what you need to do.
check her mouth? There might be a ribbon in there, like before. Anything? Nothing. Can you close her mouth? Thanks. It looks just like Faith's dead. But there was nothing in her mouth this time. Do you think it was done by the same person? Hard to tell. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. Rope marks. She was tied up? They tied cinder blocks to her ankles. So she would sink. Oh. Track marks. She used Monday drugs? Looks that way. Pretty heavily, too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms. Or if they're trying to hide the marks. Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? I've never seen one this sloppy. It's possible it's designed not to. Designed not to hide track marks? Good point. The witches upstairs know what they're doing, that's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? It's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged, for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. You're right. These buttons are wrong. I wonder... What? Snow, do you mind if I, uh, open her coat? Bigby, just let me do it. It's not you, Snow. It's just a body. I... Well, I certainly hope you're behaving yourself up here, now that you're done punching people. What have you found out? Her glamour is defective. Defective? We are thinking it's black market. We should really be regulating this kind of thing. Yes. We should keep going. wearing silk lingerie snow? Why do you want to know? I'm just trying to see if the clothes are exact. They're not. Her fist is clenched. So she fought back? No marks on the knuckles. Oh. Maybe she was grabbing something? Maybe. What are you doing? Only way to find out.
Jesus, Bigby. What is it? Flowers. Yeah. What is that? It's your perfume. How do you know what perfume I wear? You can't fool this nose. Looks like someone picked it out for her. So, someone gave her instructions. I've seen things like this before. It's definitely magic. The witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked at. Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. Don't you think? You may be right. One way to find out. Huh. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? I think I can figure it out. Something to do with these rings here. What does that mean? Oh. Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I, I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think... This was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. Let me guess. It's my hair. Yeah. Who did this, Bigby? She's a troll? You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, she's a troll. Can we move on? Who is she? That wasn't there before. Who do you think she is? I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. Should have left them all back in the homelands. With that dad too, it's gotta be Holly's sister, Lily. The woodsman told me about her. You're right. She was reported missing, but I... I guess it just slipped through the cracks. We have to go tell Holly. Right. Who knows? She might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. We should go. You can't go out there. Why not? It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go out there with you. You'd be putting her life at risk. If Snow wants to come with me, I'm not gonna stop her. But... We should leave now. You ready? Yeah. This whole thing is complete bullshit, and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after...
Come on, Holly. I need entertainment. This'll do. What are you guys talking about? What the fuck do you think? Miss White! I heard you had kind of a strange morning. It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? Because, you know, we were just talking about you. I just need to talk to Holly. Privately. All right. Just give us a second first. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Oh, everyone knows. The toad was just here. You said it looked like Snow White. That true, love? Yes. It's true. So we were just wondering why, of all the possible suspects in Fable Town, why would you arrest the poor old woodsman, who you know had nothing to do with these murders? Bigby, come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to... find the off button, now! What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around, but as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. He fucking maimed you. Aren't you pissed? Cat got your nerve. What happened? What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Of trouble, Jack. I'm sick and tired of trouble. I don't want any more. So just stop revving his motor or wait outside or fuck the hell off. I don't care which. Jack. What? Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister... Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Hey, easy! Ah, fuck! What'd I do? It's enough... Ah. Go fuck on up a beanstalk, Jackie boy. Gren, you gotta learn some new lines. Let me tell you. All right, then. Actually, have there been any updates? I don't know how to say this to you, Holly. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was. God fucking damn it! Of course, the dear princess Snow fucking White is all safe and sound. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? If you'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us, she might have been safe. She might have been cared for. She might have been... <laughs> I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry we found your sister this way, and I... I wish this had ended up better. Holly, get the fuck out of my bar. I just want It should have been you. It should have been you, and it wasn't. We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I... I didn't know she still had this. That was decent of you. Gren. Yeah? Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? I don't 
know that much about her life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. <sighs> she was lost here, in the city. She just got swept away by it. Do you have any idea why she'd be glamoured as Snow White? What? Oh, God. I'm sorry. That was probably about... She was hooking. To pay down debt. It ate me up to see her that way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the puddin' and pie. The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees, it's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Holly, it's okay. If it's too much, we don't have to do this. Fees, huh? What kind of fees? Sounds like one of those old company store kinds of ploys, designed to entrap people by keeping them in debt. We can probably learn more at the club. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here? <laughs> Lily. Thanks for everything, Holly. Is there, um, is there anything we can do to... No. No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. It's not charity. It's looking out for our own. Is she... Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no, it's it's a kind of... It, it's a formality with trolls. We burn our dead by sunrise or... I don't know. I'll check with the deputy mayor about that. He'd want to be kept in the loop. This is really important to me. Look, why don't you come down with me to the business office and we'll see what we can do. That club? I'll go down there now. See what I can find out from the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. Really, thanks. It just made everything easier. Sheriff, what a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome, of course. Is it business or pleasure? I've got some questions for Georgie. Straight to business this time, then. You're in luck. He's here. Come on. I should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's in kind of a mood right now. I don't much care how he feels about it. Ah, well, you two will get along just swimmingly. Welcome to the Pudding and Pie where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Your desires are our desires. Did you know Lily? She worked here? Oh. My lips are sealed. You'd better ask Georgie. What do you think you're doing? You look like you're trying to take a shit. 
Who's gonna want that? No one's gonna want that. I can take it from here. Good luck. It's your face. You have to smile. You never smile. How many times do I have to say it? Hey! Oh, it's you. We're closed. Keep dancing, you. I didn't say stop. For fuck's sake. You, stay right there. Don't even think about sitting down. I got a few questions. Imagine my excitement. What do you want, then? You here for a little taste? Tell you what, come back after midnight, maybe. I can hook you up. Or, uh, knowing you, she's probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me, do you prefer a stationary target, or one that will put up a fight? I'm not here for that. Ooh, I'm not here for that! <laughs> Just stopped in for the chips, then. Jesus, Big B, you're so corny. I love it, though. No, seriously, I love it. Okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. Who told you? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course she was, you daft git. She was a troll. No. I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. You know, it's illegal to impersonate another fable. It's frowned on. It's illegal as long as I don't like it. The 13th floor would never provide a glamour like that. It's strictly black market stuff. Ooh, black market, is it? How exciting. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. And we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. He used to be something, you know. Now look at him. Get that out of my face. This was part of the glamour we found on Lily's body. Take a good look. She was impersonating Snow White. Why? You've got this all wrong. If Lily was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For fuck's sake, I want that kind of eat. Who was she doing it for, then? She had clients, Bigby. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Anyway, now what to do with me? Go on, then! You're gonna hit me? Go ahead! That's what you wanna do, right? Oh no, fuck! You! Take your sad fucking face where I can't see it! Bloody bastard fucking shit! You proud of yourself, mate? Proud of your little mess? Fuck's sake. Hold on a minute. Hans, is it? Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not gonna know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know. Including me. I cover my eyes and take my cut. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written in You're it? You're a fucking moron! Show me. There is no book. And as for you, Hans, we need to work on your communication skills. 
and have a fairly good idea where to start. Hey, that's my personal property. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. Tell me about the book. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. Hey, now! Cut the crap, Georgie. I want the book Hans is talking about. Hans is confused. Again. Don't even think about it. Do not touch that. You hear me? That's nothing to do with you. Well, well, what's this? Looks like a floor safe. Uh, I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Sheriff, will you come on? Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. Give it to me. You're a big bad bastard. We get it. Everyone's guilty. We fucking get it. Jesus. You're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. Oh, for fuck's sake. Come on, Nate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. This is a dance club. What the hell am I supposed to do tonight while the girls are on stage? Harmonica, kazoo, whistle a happy tune. Fucking unbelievable. Bloody come on, then. Fucking trash my business over this bullshit. Protector of Fable Town, my ass. What a load of crap. Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so we can be happy about that. Here. This is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie. Who's this Mr. Smith? Oh dear. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows that. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book. Your girl. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business. Take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. Hello? Business office? Yeah, that's right. Lipstick, lip gloss, compact, glitter. Faith, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. Well, that jibes with what the woodsman told me. open, but there isn't even a lock. Lock's been busted open. Uh, 
Excuse me. I heard you out there. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. I didn't have a reason to come here before. Yeah. You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Once upon a time. Does that help? You have legs. Kind of glamour? No, they're real. Do you like them? They cost me a lot. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Does the number 207 mean anything to you? I assumed it was a room number, but where? We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. It's how things work here. By design. I don't give a damn about your guarantee. I need you to cooperate. This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. These lips. Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? What exactly are you suggesting? We could make all the usual arrangements, the usual place. Oh, I see. What would I need to do? I need 150. It's not good to be short. Okay. Oh, I, uh, I don't, uh... Wait here for a second. Not two oh seven. You'll think of something. The open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. should probably repair that. If the rooms are anything like the lobby, they should cut their rates.
Want it by the hour or for the whole night? Oh, uh, you. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So now you know. I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. Beauty, I could honestly not care less about this. Do what you want. All right, jeez. I thought since you didn't tell Beast you saw me, you cared how I felt. But I guess not. So, what are you doing here? Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh. Oh, yes. The... the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't Snow and went about my business. Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job? Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather... Sorry. Thanks. Wait. It'll be better if anyone sees you that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. Listen, Bigby. I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just... Don't worry about it. The less I have to write down, the better. Thanks. I appreciate it. Well, here we are. Which one was it? You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Seriously, what if someone found out? I could get into a lot of trouble. I could just break in the door if you prefer. No, don't! I'll help you. Just don't break anything. Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but... It's not working. Beauty! Ah, shit. Beast? Big B? How could you do this to me? No, sweetie, no. Wait a minute. How could you do this? We've been together through everything. I took care of you. I love- It's not what you think. Please. You're cheating on me? With him? No, no, Beast. I promise I'm not. I'm helping him. That's all. I'll bet! I'm sure you help each other just great! I know what this place is! This is a murder investigation. She's helping me- Stop lying to me! What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife! Beast, listen to me! There's nothing going on! I'm not- <laughs> Hey! Bastard! I guess I finally see you for who you are! Stop! Stop it! You told me you hadn't seen her, you fucking liar! 
You've been sleeping with her this whole time! Listen to your wife. Just calm down and... Beast! What the hell do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me! She's my wife, Bigby! I told you! Just stop! this? Bigby. Look what you did to the door! You can't just act like this whenever Stand you- Stand back! You- you don't want to see this. Beauty, stay in the hall. What? Why? What's going on? <gasps> oh my god! Don't touch anything. Is this- is this- Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then- must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah. I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work at the front desk. Do you remember who rented this room last night? I don't think anyone did. Not last night. Maybe they have it long term. I don't know. How am I supposed to know? It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But- Just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? Bigby, what kind of a person could do something like this? That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. I can't believe this. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with the built-in cassette player? I think so, yes. Where'd you get that? Lily had it in her hand. In case there was any doubt over who died here. What is that? It's a book about Snow White. Or about the Mundy version of her story, anyway. The whole book is about her? Yeah. Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Hmm. What's it mean? Why mark the page where she's sleeping? Just looking at this page with snow in the coffin, I think Smith may have an obsession with death. Of course he's obsessed with death. He's a psycho killer. It goes right along with cutting off people's heads. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. 
apparently not. He brought wine. Classy. Someone's been rough with this dress. It's torn. Oh no. She must have been wearing it. He killed her and then... and then he took it back off? No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. What... what are you thinking? This is the same dress as the one in the book about snow. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it. To recreate the snow from the book. You're right. It's the same dress. So this psychopath made that poor girl dress up like Snow White, then cut her head off. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person... We can't know the answer to that. Every situation is different. Yeah. She must have been so scared. Bigby, this? I think I heard this music. Last night. It was playing pretty loudly for a while and then stopped in the middle. I didn't think twice about it at the time. I, I mean, you hear all kinds of things around here and I guess I've already gotten used to blocking them out. Could have covered up the sound of the murder. Maybe she didn't see it coming. Get it together, beauty. Be strong. Is there anything else you can tell me about last night? Anything that sticks out in your mind? Sorry, no, it just seemed like every other night does. That's exactly what's bothering me. From now on, I'll just be down there imagining this. How can I find out who rented this room? Find whoever has the key? I'm pretty sure this one must be held long term. And we don't keep a register or anything. This place is intentionally kind of anonymous. I keep hearing that. I'd better not find out you're hiding something from me about all this. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm not involved in this! Please, just do whatever you need to do, and let's get out of here. <sighs> do you smell something? No. Just apple. Huh. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? It's got a single bite taken out of it, like in Snow's story. Oh no, do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course. That makes perfect sense. He's just acting out another part of the book. God, I'm just having trouble processing all of this. This guy has some kind of weird snow obsession, but then there's this other stuff, too. He's got a death fixation. That doesn't bode well for anybody. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer.
Are those pictures of the dead girl? Not all of them. How do you know? I'm in this one. It was taken last winter. Oh no. Bigby. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. His stand-in for Snow is gone now, so... The next step closer. What is it? It's... <gasps> Crane. He could be after you now. Good. I am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel. I'm really starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. I am gonna shave your skin off one sheet at a time. Take care of it, Bigby, or I'll take care of it for you. Jesus Christ, Bigby. Is that you? <laughs>